Hey guys, how's it going? Indulger here, back at it again with another Fire Emblem Heroes video for you. Today we've got the start of a new Ether Raids week. This is week 56, day one. Let's look at the, who we're going to get next time with these bonus units. Ooh, it's going to be good. Altina. And then I guess I'm going to go with Brunya. Although maybe I don't need to. That Altina will be the bonus unit for Astra. Hmm. I have plenty of time to think about it. It might end up just being Fjorm if it ends up being Water Season for Light. We'll figure out who Ike's partner is. But let's look at the defense. Did I get my plug for the day? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for daily Fire Emblem Heroes videos. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed. It's been a huge rush of new activity. Well over 700 subscribers, so that's awesome. Hope the new folks are enjoying the content. If anything on your mind, leave me a comment, and I'll be happy to answer. I'm not too happy with uh, what we've got here. <laughs> my defense. <laughs> my uh, my dark team, or actually, no, sorry, my anima team isn't that great, to be honest with you. I normally just plug and play legendaries and try to rely on these two rally traps in Azura. It gets hit many different ways. And this is a new one on me. So I've tried to keep the spread offense alive. I'm going for it with a Gale Force Ephraim this time to see maybe if he can get some shenanigans to occur. We've also got a Lunge Levitane, but they don't even allow me to do anything and they just, I don't know, this is not a, uh, I wouldn't call this a Gale, this is just sort of a squash tactic. Like I just get pinned Oh, how cute. When are we going to get an evil lion? Because people who don't know the game seem to think that lion's just this happy, cheerful fellow who's kind of a person in need of a preferred tome on his red <laughs> red tome. But, yeah. Anyway. Meanwhile, ta they tag team me up, and they block me to a point where I, I get stuck with a rally trap in the corner. I don't even get... A gun thrower to attempt to hit Ephraim, which would probably kill him. He doesn't have a lot of speed. I don't think he would one shot me, but Gunther never gets a chance. He blocks me again because of the tiki in the corner. It's the first time I've ever thrown an armor in a corner like that, so well done. First fight, and they expose probably the biggest weakness I have with this setup. He just got clogged to death. One shot the Tiki. Wow. So there you go. I'll try tweaking that if I need to, but yeah, not real happy about it. Okay. On the mock battle side of things, we are going to fight just one time today because I am. I have an early meeting I need to get to. So unfortunately, life trumps. <laughs> Life trumps art. Okay, we have... I want to meet the teams now. Let's meet the teams. This is going to be a tough one. I have so many options this week. I picked up a Fjorm. I picked up a Caden. I picked up an Altina. So I'm liking this team one. So I'm going triple... I'm going triple Mythic. And that really is just to get a little bit more HP and some attack on my Kangas. And we'll actually showcase this in the mock battle fight. I'm feeling like this is what I want to do every time. Team 2 is a variation where we basically just super tank stuff. Um, this time the Nagas get their attack tactics on themselves. Or their tactics on themselves. Death res attack. Korn's here, as he always is, as a distant guard, chill attack, drive res, buffer. And then we get to bring back Renea. Finally get to have a dancer. I'd love to give her a better A skill. I don't know, really know what to give her. Fury? She's got Wings of Mercy, close guard, drive death, and then built-in distant guard. If I can get a super tank set up where I can actually get both of those to safely trigger, I will do it. But... I'm going to probably lean on team one for buffs because, again, you get some HP from her. T2 
Team three is Fjorm. I haven't played around enough with Fjorm to feel confident to use her yet, to be honest with you. But in the fact, her presence destroys tactics on the flyer, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. So to that end, I gave her go to try to help the Nagas. The Naga's real main objective is kind to just get enough speed to take a hit and take a soak. They're going to be bonus units this week, so they're going to have decent speed. That extra four hopefully is enough, and then their weapon gives an extra three. Team four is a mixture of an Altina and a Naga. So if I want to go heavy offense with Altina, I can give her attack tactic. In this case, oh, got to throw a something on Veronica there. Do that right now. <laughs> I don't know what I want to give Veronica. Sorry for the delay, but missed one. What do we want to give Veronica? Maybe a chill. Well, I'm only giving you chill speed, so hmm. let's just temporarily give you live to serve, and I'll figure it out later. Like I said. I don't know if I said this. I just like saying like I said. I gotta stop saying that. What other phrases do I use all the time? It annoys me to say the same thing over and over. Let's go back to where we were to one more merge. Finished meeting the team. Another triple setup, but I dropped Kane and went full flyer team. I really probably need to give her home flyers. I don't know why I would ever need a full flyer team. <laughs> it's a work in progress. All right, so let's fight one more merge. And let's show a little difference between, we you know, what the Altina is bringing to the table. She's actually very helpful with a triple legendary setup. So if I did something like this, which we fought one more merge before. I think he's dropped, if I recall, it was Lion, wasn't it? It was a red, but he's given M1 here a sturdy impact, a lot of res, and a bond. We've got a plus six Ike. That one more merge, I'm assuming again, is for Loon. And Julia with a really scary Glacies. And double dancers, okay. If I just do what I would normally do in super tank setup, let's see if I can stop it. Spoiler alert, I'm not going to be able to stop it. If I can do something like that, get a nice buff with Corrin on Kane, and <laughs> there's a ground order set up here, so what's going to happen is this Lewin has got ground orders active, and even though he gets danced by a different dancer that's not Azura, he can jump some folks. So he's going to end up rallying, I think, here. And then he can jump here. So I think that's safe enough to get out of the way, but let's see what happens. It's a fun little setup with ground orders. And this sturdy impact not allowing me to damage him to the point of death. He does end up blocking. I did did see that, and I can actually block it because of I've got triangle of depth. The problem is from here, I can't really kill anything. Well, I can try my best. The problem now is that. Ewan is alive, and I just can't take all these hits. So I have a dead Corrin. So that's a decent clear. I could go finish this up. And probably do okay. But let's see if we can do better than that. Let's take a look at... This Team 1 I've got. And see how that fares. Now, I'm excited about this attack. This, this, this attack is, the, is what actually makes the big difference here. And I've wanted to do this for a bit. Boost attack on Kane versus just straight 
super tank. And it has its moments. So I like to, I'm able to be flexible. I can go super, super tank, or I can go a little bit more attacky. She's running chill defense, so that actually helps me even more. I ended up sacking a, what was it? I think it was the horse, the blue horse beast. I can't remember her name. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> to get Death Smoke. So, Death Smoke just pairs very well with Altina. I'm going to do something very similar that I did before. It will be done. You have my trust. Except this time, we're just getting the, the bonuses on Kang. It's a little bit more HP. You see how the AI changes here. So now we're going to kill that Elon, and because he's going to die, slightly alters the AI. So, Luan goes first, and now we can take the Julia hit, and she's gone, and I'll have to deal with that follow-up attack on her when she's down here. So from here, got to be careful, but I should just be able to knock out Luan and Ike. I gotta run away because I will kill them all. It will be done. Yes. Two dancers on the field, you don't have to worry about them dancing each other, so that's good news. With utter certainty, it will be done. I think I'm just gonna bait the Azura here. She'll hit me, but then that one should die. Thirty-six speed. Corn should be able to take the hit. Ball game. So thanks one more merge. It's a good team. I like it. I, I probably wouldn't be able to beat it if I didn't have <laughs> Naga as the bonus unit so I could do triple legendary or triple mythic. So I'm hoping that will be what we use most of this week is that team one. All right, let's get right to it. Like I said, I've got to go. I did it again. Like I said, no more like I said. I don't want to say that anymore. <laughs> let's boost up. And do it. No other news, no summons. If you missed the the news yesterday, I did manage to pull a Caden. So you don't see him here, because I'm not sure what I don't want to run Caden on light. I know Ike's there. And I know he's been fine, but it'd be nice to have a Caden in a team, maybe where Air is the bonus unit. Um just Astra's kind of clogged with Corins and Renea's. Maybe Ike deserves a buffer every now and then. Okay, ooh. I don't do well with armor teams with Kane. So I'm a bit scared, but I'm happy that, that we have the plus one. As long as there's no armor killers, but there is. I'm pretty sure you're not. Okay, you're not an armor killer. You're not an armor killer, nor you, nor you. <clears throat> Nor are you. All right, so this is just a defensive stall. I'm not really worried about defensive stalls. I'm worried about offensive killers. Although, although, I don't know how I'm going to pierce this because Soul's not going to do much damage. Yes, I, first thing I suggest I'm thinking about is just Breaking through here, smiting, but then with all these wards and drive deaths, and wards and wards and wards and wards. This is just true armor stall. I gotta break that healing tower. I'm gonna get four extra attack. Bolt tower will help a bit, and there's no other healer here. If I can get here, I'll avoid that.
I've got to watch out for this Duma, but he can't move. Alright, well, I might actually want to consider something like... <laughs> this team, because I can pick around the edges. Who's got distant counter? You've got distant counter, you do. You do, you don't. This is kind of a weakness to my team. I just don't have a armor piercer like an ether that Ike has to do a lot of havoc. Now I could run someone like Veronica with a dragon fang, which I, am I running? Nope, I'm not. Because this is a hybrid team, I need a dragon fang probably to get rid of the dragons, and I don't have that. Fjorm doesn't really help stop anybody. Don't really need a tank. Let's go team one. I'm a little nervous about this one. I'm double nervous because I can't do... I like getting engaged immediately. What I'm thinking is breaking this with Kane, testing this trap to just unclog some of this stuff. Altina's goal is just going to be to go over here, maybe maybe sync up with them later to finish some stuff. This wouldn't hit Kane, and that's all I really care about right at the moment. And then I'm going to smite from here, one, two, go up, break the healing tower, and then see what we've got. It's a 50 trap, okay. She is not going to run at us because she's got Cecilia stuck there. There are no healers. What is your desire? Just want to be able to get Corin here, but I would like to get him healed. <laughs> yes. I can bring him down and then repo him with Naga. Meanwhile, Altina doesn't really need... I don't think she really needs her heal to be healed again, although she's going to get it. Kind of actually nice to put her in vantage range, but... Alright. I think I just want to do something like this. Oh, that's not going to work because I'm smite. Naga's going to be stuck there. But that's okay. I can repo up. Is it okay, though? Is it okay, though? Altina can repo. Yeah, I think we're good. Gonna smite up, break that healing tower. I've got Dragon Fang on, so all the dragons should be dead. Even with their, even with their wards, we'll see how much the armor effectiveness helps. I've got a lot of attack. Again, thank you for not setting the bonus unit. I might actually be scared here. Now, how do we get corn up there? We can do it a couple different ways. Actually, I could swap in and then repo here. Seems like the better play. All right. it will be done. And then meanwhile, let's set ourselves up to hit that ether and test the trap. 
All right now that I've been damaged, it's going to take a bit. But let's see if we can get rid of these dragons. Dragon number one. Cecilia number one. Dragon number two. All right, well, effectiveness is a beautiful thing. Guess we're going to keep Duma around. Actually kill her like that. Oh, no. That was my smite. I meant to repo. I guess I read wrong. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of time. I mean, Naga as the bonus shield and an extra four stats is a lot to deal with. Anything else we didn't do? Want to break some more of their house? That's always my favorite thing to do. <laughs> That's your fight for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm excited about my team one. I'm really excited about this triple mythic setup. Seemed to work well. I would have liked to see how that my team would have performed a little better without the plus four. But I'll take it. You take what you get in AR, guys. <laughs> and you get really sad that my your defense isn't that great. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Daily Fire Emblem Heroes videos. Until we meet again, guys, have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.